The monkeypox virus is causing concern among parents as children return to the classroom. An elementary student in Georgia recently diagnosed with the virus and another Georgian elementary student currently undergoing testing. Here in Michigan right now, there are 165 cases of the virus, including 48 in the city of Detroit, 32 in Oakland County, 24 in Wayne County, and 21 in Macomb County. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, here to explain what K-12 schools are doing to prepare for possible cases. My two sons attend elementary school, so as a parent, I get the concern. But first of all, parents need to know this, that the risk of getting infected with monkeypox is still quite low. Right now, there are over 16,000 confirmed monkeypox cases in the U.S. Only 17 of them are kids under the age of 15. That's not very many. Having said that, it's important for parents and schools to be informed and prepared as classrooms reopen. Now, the CDC, they're recommending that schools follow their everyday protocols regarding infectious diseases to lower the transmission risk. So what does that mean, actually? It, it means that asking students, staff, and, vo and volunteers to stay home if they feel ill. The agency also recommends schools are clean and disinfected regularly and that everyone has access to soap and water when washing their hands. Also, the CDC suggests separate areas for school children to be assessed if they feel ill. I like that. And lastly, any staff member who assesses sick kids needs to have personal protective equipment made available to them. Now, even though it's rare for kids to get monkeypox, it's still important for parents to know how it's spread and what the symptoms are, especially if your child is involved in wrestling, for example, football or any sport where there's close contact. That's the important part. And that's because monkeypox virus spreads through close personal, often skin-to-skin -skin contact. There's also the potential for it to spread through contaminated objects like water bottles, utensils, clothing, and towels. Regarding symptoms, they can start off just like other viruses, fever, headache, muscle aches, fatigue. The rash usually follows one to three days later. But parents, they need to know this, that several illnesses can cause a fever and a rash, right? So it's important not to jump to conclusions and talk to your family doctor to, if you suspect your child has monkeypox. Lastly, I'd like to stress again that most cases here in the US have been in adults, not kids. The CDC is monitoring the spread of monkeypox and will update its guidance if the risk is increased in school settings and to the general public. For 7 Action News, I am Dr. Partha Nandy.